I'm now going to show how you can set the starting page number for a report. So we've seen how we can set the document list to appear at the end of a report and we'll see if we load the page template. Remind ourselves first content line minus one sets that at the end. We can also use another code which is called page begin. So control A to select all and explode. Let's drag that piece of text up so we have the same formatting. Control E to edit and we can use hash page begin. One word, then put a space and we can set it to a certain value. So if we know that the cabinets is on page 10, we could type a number um, and say that's page 10. We could also say take the actual ID of the page beforehand. So if we just close that down, if we were to run that, that would be fine. But let's have a look at the IDs of each of the types of page. Good to go to help. In the search, we'll type in page begin. Have a look at this one here. And what is very handy is it gives us a list of all the IDs. Now we can also, when we run this report, we can also say what the next report is to actually run. So we can have a chain of reports that we run one and the others automatically update. Each, I, each report is given a certain ID. We can also see that we have here a list of page begin and the actual type of pages. So if we say we want it to run after the cabinet, which is 1100. In here, we can edit this text and say, run it after the cabinet. Open bracket, control V, close bracket, and then control A to select all. We block it again, as always, as a page template or title block and save it to the same name. So if we've now got another cabinet page in there, if we just add a new one, just call that extra. And now when we run this report, we generate it, open the report, we can see we've got two cabinet pages and it's then taken the next number after the cabinet drawings to number the document list.